Hello, Trinity Garden parents, and welcome to another episode of Parenting Through the Pandemic. Today, we will talk about taking care of your family and planning for the holidays while we are still in a pandemic. This is part one of a two-part series. Yes, it's not too early to think about the upcoming holidays, Thanksgiving and Christmas, and some proactive ways that you can prepare for the holidays while we are still in a pandemic. So let's start with how are you doing right now? We all know that people are doing just as well as they can each and every day, juggling things that happen inside ourselves and inside our families, those internal things that people are expecting of us, and then perhaps being on a job and having external expectations for maybe your boss or your team member. It's a juggle for everyone. Some days may be challenging for you as you juggle serving the Lord, taking care of your family, keeping up with your child's schooling, and just paying the bills and just plain living. Yes, we know that these are just a few of the ways that adults are juggling priorities these days, and then they still try to insert the rest of their life so that they can have a fine and fulfilled life each and every day. Please know that we are all still being affected by the trauma and the stress of COVID-19 and your children are no different. So as you begin to prepare and plan for the holiday season, make sure that you're keeping safety at the forefront and also remembering that your children are watching you. We are all affected, adults and children. We all experience stress, pain, trauma, difficulty, maybe getting through each and every day, but we know that with the help of the Lord and remaining faithful to him, that we will survive COVID-19 and we will survive everything that has anything to do with the pandemic. Here's one area where we need to pay attention. Relationships. The holiday season always puts relationships on a spotlight. This holiday season will be a little bit different because it's probably not possible for most families to congregate together. It's not in the best interest of safety to do so. So find different ways to still keep those relationships tight and secure. Make sure that you're keeping conflict down to a minimum. It's not necessary that this holiday be the exact same as all the holidays in the past. As a matter of fact, for most families, it's probably impossible to do so. So keep those misunderstandings and conflicts to a minimum. Um, give grace and understand when family members want to stay apart, but stay connected. Also make sure that you are touching base with loved ones so they won't feel lonely and sad by being all by themselves on the holiday. The telephone, the internet, all of those are safe ways to connect with family over the holidays. If you do have a small gathering, make sure that you are following the safety protocols for that gathering. Finances. We all know that in regular times, finances are always an issue, but the holidays can put an extra burden on your budget and make you feel that, wow, I don't have enough to go around or I'm being pressured to make sure I have extra gifts this year because everything has been so challenging for all of us. Please remember that overspending will always be a bad recipe for anyone. So make sure you're staying within your budget, whatever you spend on holiday food, entertainment, or on gifts for others. There are lots of other ways to show your love to family and friends by serving them, by staying in touch with them, or just showing your kindness and your graciousness to each other each and every day. Physical demands. Sometimes we're just plain tired, but we want to show a great face to everyone else. But right now during COVID-19, it is very important that if you feel extremely tired or running a temperature, have a slight cough or any of the other symptoms that you take your time to rest and get tested. Remember, if you let yourself get run down, it's a real vicious cycle. Not only COVID-19, but also cold and flu and other ailments can just have an opportunity to uh, invade or attach itself to your body if you're just generally run down. So really monitor yourself, 
Make sure that you're not burning the candle at both ends. And if you're on any medications, make sure that you do take those medications as prescribed. Please remember that your children are watching you and they're watching you not only for what you say, but how you do and as well as how you behave. So if they see you being run down and getting sicker and sicker each day, then that means that they will probably have um, a really low time for themselves because they are worried about you. Sometimes we may feel that our battery is just about to run out and we think, well, there's just no way to cope with all of this stress and all of this tension that I'm feeling. And so I want you to know that next week in part two, we'll be talking about some concrete ways to really keep yourself sane during the holiday season. Remember, the most important thing is that you are staying connected also with safety and security. Will you pray with me? Dear Lord, please help me be patient with myself and please help me be more patient with my child. These are unusual times, but I know that you are still with us, Lord. Help us have more faith in you each day. In Jesus' name, amen. As always, if you have a question or you want to know more information, don't hesitate to contact me at trinitygardensparents at gmail.com. Till next time.